whether it's a job, whether, whatever else it is, even if it is marriage, you want to marry someone, work hard to achieve it. You need to talk to people, you need to strive, you need to perhaps try and convince this person, that person, you need to make sure things are happening, go out, work, achieve, perhaps earn something and then you're ready and mashallah the wedding will happen. You don't just sit in the morning in the masjid and say, oh Allah, make it easy for me. Let that uncle come right now and sit next to me and understand what's in my brain and tell me, it's okay, it's cool, it's done. That's not going to happen. Nobody will understand that. You're asking for something absurd. But you can say, oh Allah, I'm going to go, I'm going to try. Soften the hearts, open the minds. Let them accept me, subhanallah, and help me so that I can sustain myself, my family, and we can have children who will worship you. We will teach them to do the right thing so that when we die, our own children are a sadaqa jariya and a charity that is continuous for us. Do you know what's a sadaqa jariya? A charity that outlives you is known as a sadaqa jariya. A charity, the benefit of which outlives you, is a sadaqa jariya. So if you've invested in your children by spending time with them and teaching them and being with them and you've died and they continue the good, guess what? You continue to get a reward. Because you invested in something, the reward of which or the benefit of which lasted longer than you.